Welcome back. This is part six on how to build this crochet monkey. So today we're going to start assembling. So you're going to need a yarn needle, some pins, and scissors. So I always like to start with the face and then you can work the rest of the body around the face. So just go ahead and look at the body you made. It should be very, very similar to mine. However, the way that you stuff it may cause it to look slightly different. So once you decide which side you want the face to be on, I'm going to go with this side. Go ahead. You can put a little bit of stuffing. Make sure all the tails are in here. Just the tiniest bit of stuffing in here. And you can go ahead and just place that on the head of the monkey. And then you're going to use these pins to hold it in place. Okay, my eyes kind of came apart here. I want them to be closer, so I'm going to just kind of push them together a little bit. Go ahead and place these pins. Okay, so now that you got it all pinned on there, you're going to use the mouth tail and your yarn needle. And we're just going to go under each of these stitches and make sure when you insert, you insert straight in. And then you can pull up just to get the yarn needle to pop through somewhere close. Always try to pop it through the, the gaps and the stitches because you're going to have to put it right back in that same hole. And if you try to put it like through the yarn, it can be very hard to get it back through the exact same spot. <clears throat> so then you're going to come right back and just pop through the next. And then as you get close to the pins, you can just take them out. I'm going to do this all the way around here. Okay, so that was the last one in the mouth, so we'll go ahead and pop up into the eye area here. Okay, so as you're working with the eyes, it may be hard to see, but there's the black strands of yarn. <clears throat> Just make sure those stay tucked in behind you're weaving so they stay hidden
Okay, so once you get down to this last eye, we're just going to go into the next eye space. And that'll kind of help hold it together too. This is why it's very important to leave a long mouth tail because you're using this one tail to put the whole entire face on the monkey. Okay, so that was the, all the eyes are sewn on there now. We're going to just do the last half of the mouth. Okay, so that is it. Um, if you left an extra long yarn tail or you just want to make sure it's super secure, like this is this is secured, but if you want to make sure that it's super, super secure, you can go ahead and go back around, do a second row. I'm satisfied with my monkey, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop through. Any stitch will be fine. I'm just going to knot off twice and then you just take the strand weave it in so it's hidden and I like to take it down through the butt of the monkey. So you just 
pull it a little bit tight and snip it and it disappears right into the monkey. So there is his face. So next we'll go ahead and put his ears on. So just kind of see where you'd like him to be. This monkey, I have him more like side on the sides. So I'd like it to be about right there, about halfway in between the face and the back of the head and about eye level. So hold it into place then pin it down. You can put as many pins as you like in there, just as long as it's secured and it's not going to move around on you. And it's better to do one ear at a time, so that way while you're weaving this one in, you don't have to worry about knocking this one out of place. So let's go ahead and weave this one in. So I start where the yarn tail starts. So I'm actually going to take this red pin out that I already have placed just get underneath that stitch like so but then you just want to make sure that you push straight down into the monkey head and then you can lift up just to get the yarn needle through it okay and it's going to be the same thing that we did with the eyes and the mouth. Just weaving in just around. You don't have to go around if you find it easier to just pop out random places and secure it down that's completely fine like for example if I just decide well I'd like to secure it back here in the back so I'm gonna pop out through the back and just go ahead and secure it down that's fine there's nothing wrong with that It's just when you're done, you have to make sure that you did every single stitch.
Okay, so <clears throat> after you get around, you can just pull on it, make sure it's secured. And then, just like how we did the mouth, we're going to come through any stitch. Go to any stitch that you would like to. <clears throat> and then we're going to knot off. So there's one ear on. <clears throat> now for the second ear, this is where you just want to kind of line it up, try to make it as even as possible. But you can e even count. So I went into this stitch, so do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do it that way. You could also just trace it and know that it went in right here. Or you can eyeball it whichever way you want. If you eyeball it, I'd look at it at all angles. Make sure it's matching up appropriately. And then even after you pin it down, just take time and Check it over again. Okay, so I'm satisfied where mine is, so I'm going to go ahead and weave it in.
Okay, so just go ahead and tug on it. Make sure it's secured, which it is. So you can go ahead and go to any stitch in the same as we did with the last one. It's going to knot off. Okay, so now that's hidden. <clears throat> I'm going to work this over to this other tail here. And just even take it a step farther. I'm just going to tie these two yarn tails together. And I'm going to take these out through the bottom of the monkey. And when you pull through, sometimes it goes like that. You can just uh, take your yarn hook, your yarn needle, and just kind of work it like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the arms on. So, for the arms, go ahead and we're going to put some stuffing in the hands. So, you can just take the stuffing. And shove down some some down in there in the hands. You can put just a tad bit in the lower arm. That's it. Like I got some in here, but you want it to be able to relax against the body. If you stick it all the way up there, his arms will like stick straight out. So so just about like that. Okay, so with the arms, you notice if you hold it like this, I'm going to place it on the monkey like this so that way I can see that I'm getting under both loops on both sides. So you're going to place it about right here and just pin it down. And then you can look at it from the front and see if you like it. Okay, so I take it and I'm going to go straight in to the monkey first and pop out on the other side. And then I'm going to come through the edges, the edge here of the monkey's arm. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to get under both loops and go straight in. And then pop out in the back.
and then I'm going to start on the outer edge of this arm pull it up and then go into the next stitches so you're just going to continue weaving like this once you get it somewhat secured to the body you can take the pins out and then you can even like fold it up and look underneath to make sure it's connecting properly pretty satisfied with how it's connected but I'm gonna go ahead just to make sure it's secure I'm gonna do a couple more passes through here Okay, so once you're satisfied with how secure your monkey is, you can go ahead and knot off like we have been doing. And then just go ahead and weave to the back. And we're going to leave this tail because we'll do the same thing we did with the ears after we attach the other arm. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part of this tutorial and we'll pick this back up so in the next video thank you for watching um please like share subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you back here in a little bit